Hey guys, welcome to this Figma tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to design this accordion card. All right, so here I started by importing four icon and transform it to a component. Each icon will go to my cards, something like that. All right, so first, I'm going to start by creating a new frame, but let me zoom to 100%. My frame will be squarish and let's give it 40 pixel border radius. So it will be a rounded card. And then let's go to unsplash and add an image. Or maybe I will not add my image to my frame, but will create a new rectangle inside the frame. This way I can control my image better. All right, now let's go and let's import a comp image. All right, now I will add a, a linear gradient filter over my card. All right, in here, let's say 50% opacity. And now pick again the frame tool a box frame and let's give it a white fill and make it circular 50% or 50 corner radius all right next let's go to asset and import my icon center it horizontal and vertical and let's change its color to yellow and then let's create a text layer Let's go for comping. Let's give it 20 pixels size and bold width. Let's duplicate. This would be a description of my comping card. And I'm gonna use Lorem Ipsum placeholder text. All right, now let's move this a little bit to the top. All right, and let's adjust its constraint to left and bottom, all right? And also the constraint of my image layer to left and right, or let's say scale and scale. Rename the card, it's just card, yeah. All right, now let's transform this card to a component and create a new variant. Now for my first component, let's move the title and the description down and let's make the overall frame smaller like that like a pill all right let's let's center this icon all right now here i will scale up my image and center it vertical and horizontal so it will give us on once we click in this component we will see a zoom effect on our image. Next, let's go and create a new frame section and let's with a background color, a light, lighter color like this. Let's go to assets and drag and drop. All right, our component. Now let's duplicate three times. All right, and let's group everything into a auto layout and for the constraint it will be center and center and also align center and for the spacing let's give it 30 pixel space between each card all right let's zoom in now we need to open each card and give it its content now to open a card you can select it and let's go here in my component let's select variant but let's rename this to open and this to close. All right. Now here we are in our open variant. We can change its content, but for this we'll keep it like that. So let's close this and open second one. And let's see, I'm gonna change this to landscape and this icon selected and let's go here and let's select this and change its color to 
screen all right we have a porter so let's, let's remove it and select just the content of my picture and let's give it a green color and also let's go to unsplash and change the color or the image to landscape all right now let's close it let's open this this would be countryside and let's change the icon for this and for the color it would be blue all right now let's go and change the image to a country side let's pick this let's close my card open the last one and this will be city let's change this this icon and the color to purple we have two colors in a single icon and also the image let's change it to london for example all right now let's close this so let's just duplicate let's rename the first one as one and the second as two and duplicate this three and four all right now for the first frame let's open the first card and for the second frame let's open the second card and so on and so forth all right here we have four frame each frame a card is open and the other cards are closed now we are going to connect all those cards with the prototype tool so for the first one i'm going to select the first card and connect it with the first one all right let's say on click navigate to the first frame and smart animate and gent all right so we are going to keep this configuration for all my cards now here i don't have my first card is open it let's go to the first card of the second frame and connect it with the first one and here i have saved my configuration and also let's go for the first or the third frame let's connect it with number one and the fourth frame the first card with the first state all right now for the second card let's connect it with the second frame section and it will be smart animate and gentle also here the second is already open let's go to the second of the third connect it with the second and the second here with the second all right now the third one let's connect it with the third frame oh, excuse me this is the fourth one the third one with the third this with this and the third one of the last one with this all right now the fourth one here the fourth section let's zoom out now guys don't hesitate if you know a better way to do this because it's a little bit time consuming and you can commit mistakes easily all right and the fourth the the fourth card always with the fourth frame all right well let's play this flow and see how it works let's open in a new all right so all right it works great i hope this video was helpful and i created this tutorial using master ui components so please visit masterui.co to discover thousands of components to fuel your creative genius thanks and if you have any suggestion for the next tutorial please feel free to share them by leaving a comment. See you in the next one.